Let's look at the notes page. The notes page allows you to add extensive text entries to your case. Why would this be useful? Some examples. Perhaps you want to add a comment to your case that is important and should remain there indefinitely. Or perhaps there are some historical case information that needs to be available on our case. These are all valid uses of the note page. The most used feature though is called special instruction notes. These are notes that define special instructions for our case. We need to know about these instructions when working in a matter. Scenarios like client specific requirements. An example could be that we should always copy in a specific individual when sending emails to client. So many times clients have specific and unique instructions that we need to follow. Whether it be reference format, correspondence format or invoicing instructions. These are all things we need to adhere to to keep our clients happy. And we add all this information on the notes page. An example of a special instruction then. Our client requires us to copy in Joe Smo whenever we send off correspondence. You can see here that this information is shown on our notes tab. So does this mean we need to check the notes page for special instructions every time before working in a case? No. Special instructions can be set to appear when specific criteria are met. In my example, it would make sense that this instruction appears when we open the case and when we generate a document. I've already set this up, so let's test it. I'll close my case and I'll reopen it. And as you can see, the special instruction appears. So now let's add a note to my case. Ensure that you are on the notes page and then click the add button. You can also add notes using the speed buttons shown here. When I press the add button, the add note window appears. I will leave all the settings as is right now and add in my special instruction text. We can now format the text if we so choose. Let me highlight the first part of the note to grab the user's attention. Select the text and click the bold button. Then right click and select font, text color and choose red. Once done, click save. My note is entered and linked to my case. I want this information to appear when I open my case. So this is a special instruction. Right now it does not appear when I open my case. So how do we do this? These settings are all done on the note itself. Select the note and click the edit button to begin. At the top of the screen we have something called a note category. This is a handy identifier for grouping notes and lets us know what type of note we are working with. To change the category, click on the drop down and select the new category. In my case, I will choose special instruction. Once done, we now move on to the special instructions options tab. This is where we set whether this is a special instruction and the conditions that need to be met. First, always tick the special instruction tick box. This is important. Below this tick box, we have the prompt on action window, and this defines what needs to happen for our note to be shown. We have several options, but I want my note to appear when I open my case, so I will choose open case. Now save and close this window. We can see which notes are special instructions by the presence of a small X symbol under the special instruction column. Let's reopen the case to check if it worked. As you can see, the pop-up now appears. Let's take another look at the notes window. We can set where the note will be visible under the available on radio buttons. If we set it to current case, our note will only appear on the currently opened case. And this is the default setting. Next, the family cases, excluding extended cases, will make the note visible on our current case and all family related cases. The key here is family related cases only. Extended cases, which are related or linked cases and not family, will not have the note shown. The last option, family cases, including extended cases, will display our note on the current case, 
all family cases and all related cases as well. We then have the normal clear, save and close buttons, each functioning as expected. But let's now look at the note info area. Here we can see the case that this note is linked to, when it was saved and who added it. Remember this information as we will be comparing this with the next area we visit. So we know that notes can appear on cases and be marked as special instruction. Where else can notes be found? Notes can also be linked on names. Names, of course, are companies or individuals that we interact with. Let's see this in action. Click on the Names icon. The Names window will appear. Similar to case notes, go to the note page and click on Add. The Add Note window appears once again. Name notes works exactly the same as case notes. The only difference is that this note is linked to a name number instead of a case. We can see this if we look at the notes properties area. Notice that it now says note on name instead of note on case. So we know that we can add notes to cases and names, but we can also add general notes that's not related to either case or name. We do this by using a different set of add note buttons called enter notes. For all intent and purposes, the enter notes and the add button do exactly the same thing. Both perform the function of adding a note. There's one difference though. The enter notes button is context sensitive. When we click the enter note button, take a look at the note properties area. This button is sensitive to which window is currently opened. If I have a case open and click the enter notes button, Patricia will assume I want to add a note to my case. I can see this on the note properties. If I have a name entry open and click the enter note button, the note is then linked to my name. So taking this into account, we know that we can add notes to names and cases and now general notes. General notes are notes that are unrelated to a name or case. So to do this, close all active windows and then click enter notes. Remember that this button is context sensitive and because we don't have a name or case opened, Patricia assumes this will be a general note. We can see this is the case because of the note properties showing unspecified note number. The last point is that you can delete a note by selecting it and clicking the delete button.